this is going to be another intimate reading using the sexual I think it's magic tarot deck anyways it's the deck that I use from time to time that has explicit sexual pictures on it okay um, there is nips there is sexual poses and if that makes you uncomfortable please click the fuck off now okay we are going to just kind of feel out the energy and I don't know see where we're at I just did one last night titled in love with a stranger and these, these readings are big hits, honey, okay? They are general, so they may not resonate with everybody. But for those who would resonate with, honey, it's a big hit. So, if it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. Let's go ahead and just get started here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the King of Chalices, which is the King of Cups. Someone's in love. I'm in love with a stripper. I mean, stranger. I don't know, for some it might be a stripper. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. Make that money, honey. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I want to start first with this Queen of Pentacles energy right here. Look. She is just in full power, if you can see the goddamn lighting here. Hold on. Why is the lighting so bad? on guys see her she is now I'm dark fuck me fuck me that's what she's saying fuck me <laughs> Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy ah fucking Mercury retrograde okay he is she mm, She's literally in all her power and glory, as you can see. And he wants to kiss her fucking feet. She is grounded. She is manifesting. She is attracting all abundance of all forms, honey. She, not only is she attracting money, but she is also attracting everything. She's attracting ding a too. She's feeling herself too. Look at her. She's looking in what probably is the mirror and she is like fondling one breast and she is literally feeling herself, honey. She's feeling herself. A little dark light. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Oh, all of my lights are blinking and going crazy because the energy is insane. Let's see if that's going to help. Bruh. Okay, let's hope I'm not too dark now. I have to turn off that light. It's just blinking nonstop. So, let me lighten this up here. <sighs> She's feeling herself. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. She's like Beyonce. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. She really is feeling herself too, okay? She is at the top of her game, She's sitting pretty is what I just heard. She's not searching for opportunities. Opportunities are coming to her. Yes. Whew, you also have, a, like I said, the king of chalices. I'm about to punch somebody's fucking head right here. I swear to God. Mercury. Ah. <laughs> Bear with me, people. Bear with me. Electronics are, are fucked during Mercury Retrograde. And I don't know why all of a sudden the lighting of when I'm filming is fucked. Because it never, ever is. Do you see? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Hold on, you guys. There we go. This is the King of Cups, right? King of Chalices. He has one hand and he's like finessing her hair. He's in love with this woman. Total enamored. Now, don't get me wrong. Even though in this particular card, this person is at her feet, this motherfucker is this motherfucker right here. He's a king, no doubt. But it 
it's like he fell to his knees. It, he's so weak in the knees when he's with her, he falls at her feet. Bitch. He is so goddamn in love with her. You got the Six of Swords here. Six of Swords is this energy of being very peaceful, right? They're super grounded because as you can see, honey, they're banging on the grass. You know, they call it earthing, right? When we walk barefoot on the ground. These people are doing the deed on the ground. He's planting his seeds is what I just heard. I just heard that. I mean, he's so in his, so in his, I don't know what the term is. I got blushy. I got, I got, I got hot. Will he be planting his motherfucking seeds here? He is serious about this because something tell me this kind of an energy, this king, this emperor, he's not going to plant his seeds just anywhere. He's not going to just, he wants offspring. He wants to create a legacy with this person. This queen or this feminine energy, he or she is everything to this king or this masculine energy, right? Because remember now, sex is, gender is just, it's energy, it's fluid. So take it as it resonates for you, king, king, queen, queen, honey. They look at this person and this feminine energy and they say, that's the one. That's the mother of my children. That's my future wife. That's my, my lifetime partner. That's them. They see you as everything. They want to plant their seeds in you. This person doesn't trust a lot of people too is what I feel. This king, he doesn't. But he trusts you. He's vulnerable with you. You have here the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is normally a card about working really hard on something. And what he's working on is he's trying to win you over. Look at her. She looks really unbothered, right? And then he got this rose. He's like trying to rub it on her leg. And she's drinking her cup of coffee. And she's unbothered. Cause she got business on her mind honey she's making money moves oh she's so queen of pentacles right see like this is the energy she's queen of pentacles this is her and she's her mind is preoccupied her mind is not on him and it drives him fucking insane and you have the knight of pentacles an offer is going to come in, something solid. See, he has something in his hand. It looks like, bitch, I'm, you can tell I'm getting old, honey. I'm 41. I think I need reading glasses or something. And I need one of those, like, because I, I can't tell if that's a fish or a fucking weird fruit. Honey, he offering her something is my point. It's something... It's like something solid, too. He's trying to... He wants to offer this bitch something. Lord have mercy, honey. Oh, Lord have mercy. Why are my cards upside down? Sorry. Oh, seven of wands. Let's see what else come out with that. Because that's an interesting card. He got this little smirk on his motherfucking face. Well, what the hell are you smirking at? I don't know. Let's find out what he's working at. Oh, the lovers. There's a choice. Ooh, something tell me this dude did not want to settle down. He thought he was going to hit it and quit it with this queen empress. And he was... I just heard in my head, I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. It's like he is under a fucking spell. Not literal, too, because, honey, if you got to put a spell on a motherfucker, what's the sense, honey? 
I don't want nobody to fall in love with me because I put a spell on them, please, honey. I'm going to attract you with my own magic, okay? We don't need to put spells on no motherfucker, honey, because our energy is magnetic. Oh, but that's what he feel like because he's going, wait a second, I, I'm the ladies man here. I'm okay with just being with multiple people, not being committed, not giving someone everything of me. And then here he is over here like, you want this? He's giving her his power. So this would be his everything, his time. This is a very busy man and his time is his money. He's giving this woman or this energy this feminine energy his time and his time is his money and his money is his power do you see what i'm saying he's giving her all of him oh i'm about to play john legend all of me love all of you this fucker is hook line and sinker and he didn't think that that was gonna happen he thought he would just she was gonna be another notch on the belt not because he wanted to play her but because that's his lifestyle something tell me he was okay with being a lifelong bachelor almost as if like something he got burned in love or something or he is such a strong businessman very christian gray like energy that he just needed sexual partners he he was okay with without the emotional mm, connection he was okay with that until he met the bitch look at this oh hello oh honey he'd be just trying to sink his fingers in there honey i mean he's he's claiming her and she's letting him she is taking his power and she is giving him hers it's the power of the pussy it's the ill nana it's the damn poo nanny she's giving it to him but she made him work for it she did not give this up fucking overnight this this bitch played her cards right she played her fucking hand right she did not show her hand she made him work for it i always say that you know the next dude i'm with gonna have to court me he gonna have to work for it too she made him work for it which not only drove him crazy because he's used to people falling at his feet like this he used to just bitches dropping their panties for him well that's not gonna happen here because I am a queen, I am an empress. You're going to have to earn me. You earn your spot right here. I don't just put any dang lying in my mouth. She made him work for it and it made... It drove him crazy because she was the only one, the only one in his life that made him work for it. Something tell me this man ain't used to working for nothing, honey. Three of chalices is also the three of cups. This is a reunion of souls. It's a celebration. Oh, he's, he, look at him. He's sinking his teeth into her. He is claiming her your mind and she's hanging on to him and she's letting him he got in in more ways than one you got here the knight of wands with the six of wands knight of wands is this aggressive energy moving quickly he wants to move this forward this is not just sexual to him he he thought it was going to be just sexual to him six of wands she is just teasing him tantalizing him and he knows that she's on the market this is a single person she or this feminine energy is single they're on the market and he knows it and he doesn't like it he doesn't want people looking at her he doesn't want people oogling her my cards are all fucked up no wonder because it fell over like five times last night Six of Wands is public recognition. He doesn't like people looking at his bitch. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Mm, this, this is an engagement. This is an engagement. This is also a house or a car. It's something solid, stable. He's going to offer a ring, commitment, or he's going to buy the bitch a house or a car. I'm sorry, it's just what I, I can feel it. This is a very high-powered emperor, but this is a woman who cannot be bought. Cause she has her own 
But this is the way this, this emperor, this king, this masculine energy, this is how he shows his affection is not just through holding her and giving her his everything, but to him, he's he wants to provide for her. And that makes him proud to be able to provide for her. So she accepts it because he's not giving it to her because he's going to use it against her later. You know, where it's not like, well, he's going to say, well, I bought you this and you wouldn't have that if it wasn't for me. Because he know and she know, motherfucker, I can buy my own. It's like this unsaid thing where they both go, you know, I know that you know that I know. That you know that I know that you know. Right? And they're both like, right. Oh, the fool. Taking a leap of faith in love. Oh, taking a leap into the next phase. That's this. The phase of commitment. Oh, he didn't see it coming too. He did not see it coming. He thought that this was just going to be another notch on his belt. You have here the world. She is, he going to eat her alive. He going to start from the feet, from the ankles, honey, work his way up. He's savoring her. He savors her when he speaks to her on the phone, even if she only gives him two minutes of her day because she's very extremely busy and she doesn't make him the top priority because he hasn't earned that spot quite yet. He savors every second. It's like she completes the big picture. Like this person has everything. They have money, they have career, they have accomplishments. They didn't have she's the missing piece she's the rib the missing piece the rib she brings him peace but she is also the missing piece the rib he worships the ground she walks on like literally worships the ground she walks on these cards flew out earlier but i'm not feeling them i just don't when i touch them when i look at them i can tell if i want to read them or not and i don't i'm not biased i just gotta go with my gut there's a lot of travel involved here too for you guys the hermit the chariot and the five of pentacles the hermit i told you he was lost see how this person's sitting here and he ain't got no light his flame it's gone he's holding a candle that's not lit and in the background you have two people here boning it's symbolic of he was in the dark you know, as far as like, you're the light. He sees the light. You light him up. You bring him back to life. Fire is creation. Oh, in true Mercury retrograde style, my phone fucking died. It just shut off. I, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. So the hermit, as I was saying, this person right here, his... He didn't have any fire within him. Do you know what I mean? Like I was saying, fire is symbolic of creation, right? He didn't have that. This person comes into his life, lights up his world. Before that, everything was just sexual. There was no connection. Five of Pentacles. Blooming. Look at all the flowers in, the, in this card. That's all I see music something with music here they're either a musician they could they, you guys could love music together uh you guys met through music i don't know what this is about maybe they manage artists um maybe they work with artists i don't know what this is something's blooming though and it's your music to me oh i just heard that your mu your music to me some music is very important to this person even if they do not do it for a living okay or they have anything to do with it for a living music's very important to them it's healing it's their form of therapy and your music to them Woo! then you had the chariot with the chariot in last night's reading also then i figured out what that was it's a flogger smacking that ass or titties or whatever else it's used for i don't know honey chariot is forward progress and movement owning someone remember last night if you watched that reading i did i felt that the energy was very much so about i want you to own me and i want to own you
Not in like a, a bad narcissistic way either, honey. Ooh, the Ace of Swords. Two Aces. We had the Ace of Pentacles out earlier. This is cu just cut and dry. Look at her. She's owning him. She really is, too. She's dominating him. She has all of the power. She does. And he freely gave it to her, too. Like, he literally did. He gave it to her. She didn't manipulate it. She didn't take it. She didn't do any of those things. He freely fucking gave everything to her. She owns him. But he wants her to. The Ace of Swords is also him cutting ties with everything from his past. No longer will he be a ladies' man if he was a ladies' man. That's not what he wants. Oh my God, the wheel. See, he's going to cut that. See these three bitches? He's not going to entertain bitches no more. You his only bitch. You his only bitch, honey. The Wheel of Fortune. X marks the spot. Ooh, there was an X here on you. Magnetic pull. He can't get away even if he tried, honey. He could run, but he's going to be magnetically pulled back to you. Vice versa, too. The wheel is also, right, destined and faded. This is like jackpot, the lottery. He feels like he's hit the lottery with you. Swear to God, he has this feeling of you're everything. You are my lottery. You are my jackpot. Destined and faded. <sighs> oh, this is a seasoned man too. This is a man that has had a bunch of women. I hate to say it, but he has. He's had a bunch of women. He's very seasoned. But he knows what he wants. He wants you. You're different. You're unbothered. You're not impressed with his success like other people because you're successful yourself that intrigues him it intrigues him of how what why it's, it's humbling to him and he likes it he he really does he likes that feeling of being humbled marks the spot nine of wands he had his guards up look at him he even looks distressed he's got like this really scruffy looking beard he looked like he a fucking mess she came in and she she came in i can't even fucking talk during mercury retrograde she came in she came into his life and saved him Remember, the, the hermit here has no light on. His flame is missing. You are the light. You are the flame. You light him up. You bring him back to life. It's like a walking zombie. He's just going throughout his day in life like a fucking robot, doing his thing. No emotions really into it. I feel like there's oh, there, he's really passionate about his business, whatever his business is. So I don't know what he does for a living, but whatever it is, that's his everything and of course if he has children his children are his everything too but it's not love love is not it, it, love he was like no you shall not pass bitch i'm with you for the night or i'm with you because it makes sense and because this looks good on paper and i'm not emotionally attached to you he probably has been with women that he knew was safe that he wouldn't fall in love with i don't think he meant to fall in love with you he didn't Nine of Wands is like being on guard. Oh, he definitely didn't mean to fall in love with you. You were a surprise. He didn't see you coming. Oh, Queen of Cups and King of Wands. Look at this. Queen of Cups. She's cradling him. She's comforting him. You are his peace. He seeks comfort in you. He trusts you. He's vulnerable with you. This isn't, they're not even having sex in this picture. You see that? It's just this intimacy between two people. He trusts you and he don't trust nobody. He's comforted by you. The look of you, the sound of your voice. You bring him down when he's up here. When he's frazzled, when he's upset. You... Don't tell him what he wants to hear. 
you tell him what you honestly feel and you have a really good head on your shoulders as the queen or the empress so you give really good advice but also it's not even advice what he seeks from you is just comfort because he feels this like extreme emotional connection all he wants to do is be held then you have the king of wands He's going to claim you, honey. King of Wands takes action. King of Wands kept coming out right in the tarot deck every time I would do tarot cards for this past, I don't know, like two months. He kept coming up with the with the emperor because it's the same person. King of Wands is in control. He's passionate. He makes moves. Remember, you have the Queen of Wands here too, along with the Queen of Pentacles. Where is she? Oh, no, was it the Queen of Pentacles? Hold on. Uh, the world, king of chalices. No, I swear the queen of wands was here, remember? Or was it the queen of pentacles? The lovers, the chariot. Hold on, guys. Queen of pentacles, knight of pentacles, the world, seven of wands, king of chalices, the fool. Oh, yeah, maybe not. Queen of cups. And then the Queen of Pentacles. He's protecting her. Look at his arm underneath what she's wearing. She's wearing like a cape. They both are. He has his arm under it. He's protecting her. He's her protector now is what I just heard. Ooh. I love this energy. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Um, I think this is it. I think that this is the message. Similar. Similar to the reading I did last night. I feel like the reading I did last night was step one, where before they met. This could be step two, when they actually start engaging with each other. Or this could just be a whole different group. Remember now, take it as it resonates and don't stretch it. But this looks good either way. They look good either way. All right, you guys, I want to remind you that I am only doing emergency readings, $140 for 30 minutes live. Um, worked in within about five to seven days. Also, I have just recently started to do one question, one answer readings via email. Very short and sweet. If you guys want information on that, click on the box below. All of the information is there, okay? Now, I guess that's it until the next one. It's exciting. Oh my God. This man wants to give you everything. Because you are everything. You're his peace. I think he tried to run for a bit too. I think he tried to run from the connection for a bit. I don't know how long. I don't know, a day, a week, two months, three months. I don't know how long. But in true emperor style, in true king of wands style, he manned up and he owned it. He fell in love like the king of cups. He fell in love. And now he wants to give you everything. He wants to marry you. Let's get married. Mm. Mm. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't getting any younger. We might as well do this. Fuck yes, honey. Jagged edge. Yes, bitch. Well, okay then. I don't know why I'm prolonging this because fuck. I guess I want to try and juice the energy as much as I possibly can, honey. <sighs> I think that's about it, you guys. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. I love you.